Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris with Digital Rim. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to optimize your 4K footage so you can edit it on a not so powerful machine. So with that being said, we're just gonna hop right into it. Let's go. All right, so boom, this is a continuation of the last lesson, but here you go. We have some 4K footage that we shot at 4K 60 frames per second, and we have it on a 24 frames per second timeline, right? So with that being said, we want to optimize this because if you notice, when we try to play it, when we try to play it, it's like very, very choppy. So how you would optimize this footage is you would go to grab the footage, grab whatever, whatever the footage is, you want to grab it and you want to right click and then you want to go to generate proxy media. Boom. It's going to going to calculate everything, create a proxy file that you can work with. And we're going to do this for all three of them. So we're going to do all three, generate proxy media for all three of these. Boom. So now that it's done, we've generated the proxy media. And you might be asking if you're new to if you're new to video editing, you might be asking like, what's proxy media? Proxy media essentially is like you have your 4K footage, which is very heavy, uh, very very big in file size, but you want to edit that, but you don't for the computer to be able to play it through the timeline and it be able to calculate everything else, it's gonna be very hard for to edit that. So what a proxy media does is creates a placeholder that's very, very, that's a lot, lot lighter as far as editing goes. So it's it's essentially the same file, but just a lot, lot lighter where you can edit it, you can do your effects on it, you can do everything you want to do to it. But then in the and the, on the back end, you can relink it to your 4K footage and then render it out. At full um, at full quality, so that's exactly what we did. We just created the proxy files, which essentially now allows us to somewhat scrub through this a lot better than before, right? Now, if you are now if you are still experiencing like it's still lagging, your machine still can't keep up. Again, you might have a lop laptop like me. You're not working on the desktop. It still can't keep up. There are a couple more options that you can do, right? So first thing I would suggest if you go to playback and then your timeline resolution, you're going to decrease that to probably a quarter, right? Once you decrease your timeline resolution, that's actually going to make it run a lot smoother. I'm going to actually turn the sound off so we so every time I talk it that doesn't come up. But yeah. Boom, so that should make it run a lot lot smoother, right? Another one one other thing you can do uh, the 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 last well the last thing you can do and you can do this this could be the first thing you do I, I say the last thing loosely but this could be the first thing you do um right after you proxy media proxy media is definitely what you want to do first but this is another thing you can do is go to your file project settings if you're still having trouble file project settings settings and then instead of being at uh, 1920 by 1080 or 1080 by 1920 because we're vertical Instead of being that, we're going to go down to 720, right? We're going to go down to 720p. Boom. And that's just going to make our make our composition a lot smaller. But again, just like it went down, we can always scale it back up when it's time. But you have to be mindful. You have to be super mindful that when it's time to render, when you're done er and, uh, done editing and every adding effects and everything, make sure you go back to your project settings and increase it back. Now I again like I said before I don't urge I I don't recommend that you go over 1920 by 1080 because it's really not necessary for social media. So don't worry about going 4K so and so forth. You're just creating a large file for yourself and when it's not necessary. But as you see now this is now this is really playing a lot smoother. A lot smoother than before, right? So boom just like that that's how you that's how you pretty much would optimize your media for your production hey boom so there it is you actually got to see how you can optimize your 4k footage so you can be able to edit it but then on the back end be able to render it back out in its full resolution 
very, very powerful to be able to do this. And again, not everybody has the beefiest machines or not everybody has the ability to work on a desktop at all times. So working on a laptop or something similar, this allows, uh, gives you the flexibility to be able to work on the go, things like that by optimizing your 4K footage down into a proxy file so you can work with it, edit it, and then render it out back to 4k so these are some of the little troubleshooting things that you can do if you are running into the issue of glitching when you are trying to play on your timeline or play your video through so with that being said hopefully you found this video super valuable share with a friend like it bookmark it subscribe to us do all the things that you can do and i will see you all in the next lesson later y'all peace